So when you're creating clothing for characters, you more than likely already have your character and you just want to create the clothes for them. So I have a, a simple sample character guy uh, who came with ZBrush here. Um, so I'm going to take him, I'm pressing Shift F to show the polygroups and Shift F to turn them off again. So in order to create the clothing for him, I'm just going to duplicate him. So we have a duplicate. You can do that with Control Shift D as well. And then once we have that, I'll hold down Control. I'll change my stroke type to lasso. And then with symmetry turned on, you can see that that's on. We can press X to see the red dot or not. If it's on, then we have symmetry. I'm just going to draw out where I want this guy's clothes to be. Something like that. And if I hold down Control and Alt, I can remove selections from that. So we can just add on or take away by either using Control or Control and Alt. So once we have something that we're, we're kind of reasonably happy with, we say that's his clothes. Um, I'm going to press Shift F so we can see his polyframe again. These are separate polygroups. We've kind of we're overriding them all. So I'm just going to hit Control W and that will make our mask into one selection set. I can now hit Control Shift and click on that. And now that's isolated and all the other stuff is hidden. So we go down to Geometry, Modify Topology and Delete Hidden. We now have a separate piece of clothing. So we have two subtools in here, the guy and the clothing. So I'm just going to create some duplicates of this. So I'm going to hit Control Shift D, press W and move that off to the side. Control Shift D, press W, or, well W is already on, move that off to the side and just show you some different ways to clean this up. So the first way we want to get rid of these jaggy edges because if you don't do it and you try and do a Z remesh uh, here to change the geometry, if you do that, Z remesh kind of looks at the edges and tries to respect that when it's when it's doing the retopo for you. So you need to clean this up before you use Z remesh. So the fastest way to do that, or number one, <laughs> the number one way to do that is basically go down to deformation and polish by features has two options here: a closed circle, and if you click on this, then an open circle. So we're going to keep it at the closed circle because it's not as aggressive as the open circle, and we just drag that over, and you'll see that that's done a job now of cleaning that up. From here, we can go to Geometry, Zero Mesh, and you'll see the Zero Mesh now respects these edges and gives us much cleaner geometry. So I'll just undo that to show the final result. The next way of doing it is to use, if you don't want to do that for whatever reason, you can just go down to Geometry, Edge Loop, and use Group Loops. Group Loops will add extra loops uh, all the way around the edge of your geometry. Now, the one thing about this, I would say, is that it it adds four loops to your geometry. If you just add one, or if you add zero, it's not gonna do a good job of cleaning this up. If you add one, it'll do a slightly better job. So four is probably what you want. It doesn't really matter because ultimately you're gonna hit zero mesh again anyway, and you're gonna clean that final result up. Uh, I'm gonna turn symmetry off when I'm doing this zero mesh because I've offset it from the center. So that cleans that one up. And then the last one is if you go down here to deformation again um, and you can just instead of using polish by features you can just use groups because there are no other groups so just drag this over to the side and it's the exact same thing as polish by features you can see if i overlay this they're almost exactly the same uh, i'll turn off symmetry <laughs> so that looks almost exactly the same there is one other way so i'm going to undo this and i'll make a duplicate of this and this time, this is a bit more convoluted, but what you can do is you can go to masking and say, I want to mask, or I'll turn these off, just mask the border. And that will take all these border edges and mask them. Now, if I control and click, it's going to invert that selection. So now the only ones that can be smoothed are the ones that are not masked. And now we can go to deformation and hit polish by features, and that will smooth them up. So the only reason you'd actually do this is if you don't want your internal detail to be destroyed or to be moved, like which is highly unlikely because you're probably doing this just to do a Z remesh anyway. But if you do need to hold on to that for whatever reason, then you, you're basically effectively masking that and protecting it. So you're only cleaning up the edges. So, and again, that will work with groups or features once that is masked. Hope this tip helps. And as usual, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for other tutorials. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. Bye.